This is likely going to be your next camera. Introducing the Sony Alpha 7R5, a camera that boasts having the highest image quality in Alpha history. This is thanks to a variety of new features paired up with the very latest Sony processor technology. Inside, you'll find a 61 megapixel full frame sensor along with the Bion's XR processor, which provides eight times more processing power than its predecessor, the Alpha 7 r 4 There's also a separate processor that is dedicated to bringing sophisticated AI processing and deep learning to your photography. For several years now, Sony shooters have enjoyed some next-gen features like continuous eye autofocus and real-time subject tracking, but the Alpha 7 r 5 takes things to a completely new level. With this new AI processor, subject recognition has reached Super Saiyan levels, thanks to what Sony calls human pose estimation. The Alpha 7 r 5 can now recognize over 20 human body points and can recognize human movements with the highest precision. Sony's already awesome eye autofocus performance was improved by 60% with the Alpha 7 r 5 and in use on the field, it was immediately noticeable. While I was out doing a photo shoot with Caitlin, there were times where she would turn her face away from the camera to the point to where maybe just the corner of her eye was actually visible to the camera. Now my Alpha 7 r 4 it would switch from eye autofocus to real-time subject tracking until the eyes were fully visible to the camera again, but not with the Alpha 7 r 5 It's pretty crazy to see that the camera would still track the eye in that type of situation. So if you're shooting with something like the Sony 50mm f1.2 lens, you could be even more confident that it will track the eye and keep it sharp in more situations, no matter what settings it is that you're using. Even when you find yourself in situations that might be a bit more difficult to focus, such as backlit situations, or when a person's face is in shadow or tilted away from the camera, you'll be amazed at how well the tracking keeps up. The Alpha 7 r 5 subject recognition goes beyond just humans and animals. And now you could track birds, insects, cars, trains, and even planes. This is easily the most advanced focusing system that I've ever used on a Sony Alpha camera, but there's more to this new model than just the focusing system advancements. On the video side of things, the Alpha 7 r 5 becomes the second Alpha series camera that could shoot 8K video up to 24 frames per second, as well as shooting up to 4K 60 frames per second, making this an intriguing camera for anyone who wants a hybrid shooting option. If you shoot in Super 35 mode and capture 4K video, it's actually oversampled from 6.2K, which means that your 4K videos look even better than cameras that are shooting at 4K only. Just like cameras like the Alpha 7 S 3 and the 7 IV, you get internal recording with 422 color sampling in 10-bit all intra. Of course, you could also use s Cinetone color and you could output 16-bit RAW through the full-size HDMI port on the side of the camera. Speaking of the camera, there are several design differences with this newer body compared to the Alpha 7 r 4 that I think are worth mentioning. On the front of the camera, you'll notice that you now have a visible light and IR sensor. The mode dial has also been updated, so now you can quickly see and adjust the camera's shooting mode for stills, video, or SQ shooting. When you select one of those modes, the menu in the camera actually changes accordingly, so you only see the options that are relevant for that specific mode. Another cool update to the menu that I love with my FX3 is the ability to have all of the main options that you'd likely need for shooting video on its own page within the menus so you'll spend less time looking for the options that you'll use the majority of the time that you're working. We talked a bit about the new 8K recording option, so with that, you'll be happy to know that the Alpha 7 r 5 offers dual CF Express Type A and SD card slots. With that, the buffer has been greatly improved as well, where you can now shoot up to 583 compressed RAWs without filling up that buffer, and they offload super fast with Sony's tough CFA cards. There's so much to talk about with this camera that I almost forgot, but a feature that the Alpha 7 R users are going to love is the ability to select between small, medium, and large RAW options, along with lossless RAW. If you're a wedding or event photographer that wants flexibility in your shooting options, the Alpha 7 R 5 is going to be a camera that you'll want to check out. 
Moving right along and looking at the top of the camera, you'll notice that the record button has been relocated from the back of the camera on the R4 to the top where the C1 button used to be. This makes it easier to access when you're recording video in front of the camera. What used to be the exposure compensation dial can now be customized to do that or a variety of other features within the custom menu. The back of the camera looks nearly identical to the R4 outside of the swap location of the record button that we just talked about. The electronic viewfinder has also been upgraded and now has a class leading 120 frames per second, 9.44 million dot QXGA viewfinder. Shooting with this new viewfinder was just awesome in my own tests and really goes far beyond what you'd experience using an optical viewfinder on a DSLR. If you haven't experienced an electronic viewfinder, you really need to try this out and see how it can revolutionize the way that you shoot compared to using an optical viewfinder. Another first for the R series is the design of the new multi-angle flip screen. Not only does the screen flip out to the side like it does on some of the newer bodies, but it also has the ability to be used like the Alpha 7 R4, where you could tilt it up or down to help you get creative with your shooting. Moving over to the side of the camera, you'll still have your headphone and your microphone ports, USB-C and USB micro, a flash sync port, and now you've got a full-size HDMI port. Something worth mentioning here is that the USB-C port on this camera has been updated to support UVC and UAC protocols. So you're able to use the camera as your webcam for streaming or anything else without having to install additional software or use capture cards. With so many people working from home these days, this is one of those great value added features that expands the functionality of an already useful camera. Inside, the Alpha 7 R5 also has a completely updated five axis in-body image stabilization that now gives you up to eight stops of compensation. I'll be testing this out further in my upcoming videos as that could be an entire video all by itself. I was also really excited to see that it now offers focus bracketing up to 299 images. If you're shooting macro images or taking landscapes, then I don't have to tell you how useful that feature is, but you'll be happy to know that it's now an option in your camera's drive mode menu. Like I mentioned earlier, I did a photo shoot with Caitlin testing this out on location, and I even paired it up with Sony's 60RM2 flash. Since the camera is new and most post-processing programs need to be updated to read the RAW files, I'll just share the straight out of camera JPEGs here with you today. All of these were taken using the manual mode, either using the Sony 35mm f1.4 G Master lens or the Sony 135mm f1.8 G Master lens, and I've listed the settings for each image. Now, once I can open the RAW files in Capture One, I'll do my editing to them and I'll upload them to my personal Instagram page, which is at Miguel Quiles Jr. So be sure to head over and follow me there so that you can see the final images when they're ready. The Alpha 7 R5 pricing and availability will be in the description of this video since I don't have it at the time of recording. Be sure to subscribe to Alpha Universe as I plan on releasing several follow-up videos on this exciting new camera. While you're here, check out this video that you see here on the screen for more details on the Alpha 7 R5, and I'll see you there.